We're going to call the uh, village board meeting of June 22nd, 2015 to order. If everyone would rise to say the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. In your packets, we have the minutes of the June 8th, 2015 regular village board meet. I'm sorry, roll call. Mr. Hupke? Here. Mr. Collins? Here. Mr. March? Yes. Mr. Hack? Yes. Mr. Forsyth? Here. Here. Okay. Now the minutes of the June 8th, 2015 regular village board meeting. Are there any additions or corrections? If not, a motion to approve is written. Motion. Second? Second. Motion by Trustee Jones, seconded by Trustee March. Jones. Yes. Mr. Mark. Yes. Mr. Huckabee. Yes. Mr. Forsyth. Yes. Mr. Hand. Yes. All right. In your packets, you have the accounts payable and payroll. Payroll in the amount of forty-four thousand nine twenty-eight fifty-nine. Accounts payable, general fund seventy thousand six forty-three eighty-four. Water and sewer fund twenty-seven thousand six fifty-seven fifty-four. Getting a total of all accounts payable ninety-eight thousand three hundred one thirty-eight. Are there any discussion on the payroll or the accounts payable? The Pearl Chrysler Dodge, that's their sales tax rebate, right? Yes. Yes. And what do we pay the back for? Uh, Ag Bar, the K9. Police dog dog. Did he have an issue that he's $855? Had a couple of issues. Okay. <clears throat> Any other questions or discussion? Not a motion to pay the bills and the payroll. Motion. Second. Second. Motion by Trustee Hupke, seconded by Trustee Hack. Mr. Hupke. Yes. Mr. Hack. Yes. Mr. Forsyth. Yes. Mr. Gallows. Yes. Yes. Public comment and or questions on any non-agenda item. Right. We'll move on to reports of committees. Uh, you have the clerk collector report in your packet and the treasurer's report. Any questions or discussion on that? Mr. Uh, Trustee uh, March had made a comment a few meetings ago. If we were to check into other banks to see if we can get any better return on our money. I know the treasurer, I talked to the treasurer about that, and that is something that she was looking at and investigating. But I don't think there's been anything definitive brought back as of yet. Anything else there? Now we'll move on to uh, police committee. On June 10th, we had a uh, meeting with the Police Public Safety Committee, and um, Chief Moore gave us uh, an update on the legislation regarding the use of body cameras for the police department. Stated it's been uh, will continue and is going to monitor monitor that uh, subject. Um, also discussed the use of tasers. He uh, explained that there's uh, could be would be some training that would be involved in that. Um, should the tasers be implemented? Um, just give them brief. If there's any questions, or you can stop me. Then it's kind of giving a brief thing or summary. Also, the uh, police department had some complaints on Rath G Road, and they had been monitoring the speed on Rath G Road. Um, there's easily like a thousand cars using the road daily. Um, there were some issues about excessive speed that were addressed by the police department. Um, there was also a question about a portable trailer that would show your speed. Um, the cost of uh, was about $4,000 and the portable, the portable, the speed boxes, but the portable trailer is about ten grand. So that's just something that they were just looking at. Um, they're going to monitor that area. Uh, they're going to start issuing citations for that area more often. 
and um, a s additional signage uh, will be installed in that area as far as your speed limit. The other thing was the traffic safety issues at 50 and Howard Street, Crawford Street intersections were, dis uh, were discussed. Uh, uh, business owners were contacted and uh, it's a proposed no parking pavement striping. I also stated he'd like to talk to the committee about his ideas uh, regarding a community service officer at a later date. And uh, that's about it. Any questions on the police committee report? We will go on to administrative oversight committee. Again, a brief summary. On June 10th, uh, we had a meeting with the administrative oversight committee. Dr. March uh, had uh, prepared the first draft of the job description for the village administrator position. There were suggestions that the board members and president uh, were discussed. Um, I compiled all of the suggestions and forwarded the document, document to um, village president Cross. Um, the next thing that was a cult enforcement position was discussed. President and Chief are currently handling the complaints. Um, I had asked the Chief if he could handle complaints for an additional month or so in case we were having an issues trying to get somebody. He said that he could with the help from the girls up front. The uh, job description for the code enforcement uh, position was discussed. Uh, Trustee Hack had submitted a uh, job description used by Frankfurt, which we were very much in favor of. Um, and the last thing was that uh, Chief Moore brought up the subject about website updates and the need to make the security of the network and system. Um, he wants to make sure that the systems are good to security. Um, he's been in contact with Webfoot, which is our website provider. Um, we're looking at upgrades, budgeted for this year, and that was about it for the Administrative Oversight Committee. Any questions or discussion on that report? Uh, police Chief report. Uh, talked to Chief earlier. He said he had nothing to report, so he's not present tonight. Engineers report. I have nothing to report this time. Uh, concern that was discussed at the committee of the whole meeting is the Wilmington Road you know, sidewalk grant. Have you gotten any further updates on that since our last discussion about it? No, no updates. Uh, Representative Cluden was here today, you know, had some public hours, and one of the questions that, or one of the things that her and Trustee Hupke had talked about were, you know, grants in general, and how it seems that some of, a lot of these grants are getting pulled back. And, um, Especially if they see an idol. So that's why really a big concern. The person I talked to um, who was in charge of the grant said that we gave them everything they needed. Um, it's just You know so who that person else? was? Yeah, I do. Give me that contact information and I'll make a, a call tomorrow just to reach out to them, you know, just so it remains active. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll get that from you after the meeting. But we have been, I think, I know that the engineers have been in continuous contact with them uh, on our behalf, but I will make a, I'll make a phone call tomorrow just to continue to push that point. Okay. Any of the other questions for the engineer? Uh, no old business, so we'll move on to new business. A uh, special event, Piatone Historical Society, Old Mill Fall Fest, 427 West Corning Avenue. It's a partial street closure. It's going to be from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. on September the 20th. There's some information in your packets. This is uh, an annual event that they hold at the mill. Um, they do leave the south side of Corning Avenue open uh, for through traffic that day, but it is a partial street closure, which is going to require approval from the board. Motion. Second. Motion by Trustee Forsyth, seconded by Trustee Hupke to approve the special event permit application of the Piatone Historical Society. Mr. Forsyth. Yes. Mr. Hupke. Yes. Mr. Jones. Yes. Mr. March. Yes. Mr. Hank. Yes. Item B, Jessica Bovic. Yep, that's okay. 
Okay. Uh, Area Vice President, Public Sector, Arthur J. Gallagher, Risk Management Services. I wonder if you just to come in and say hi to the board. I did. I wanted to kind of come in and reintroduce myself. Some of you are familiar, some of you are not. Um, but I am the city or the village's insurance broker for property liability and workers' compensation insurance. And it's been a few a few months since I've been out here, so I just kind of wanted to briefly go over this. I promise you, I will not stay up here and just talk to you um, through this whole packet. But just kind of a little bit of update on what we're doing for Piatone. Um, just as a background, background on the company, Arthur Gallagher, on page two. Um, we are a rather large firm. We place about $3.6 billion in insurance premiums. Um, how that helps Piatone is that I have a really great grasp on who writes public entities, and I can really use that leverage to help bring down your premiums year over year. Um, on page four, and I include some other things if, in case you want to read up, in case you didn't have anything to read tonight before you went to bed. I wanted to give you some reading material. Um, just to give you a background, I became the broker um, for the village um, in 2011, December of 2011. Uh, saved roughly $32,000 annually for the village when we came in. Um, even better than that, you were getting charged about 21% higher premiums before I came in in 2011 than I'm still charging you right now. So we're still 21% lower in your premium than back in 2011 when you were with the IML RMA. Um, the village in 2013, I, I do a lot of communities around here, um, Wilmington, Beecher, um, Cole City, to be, to be put really close. Um, there's a lot of them. Um, uh, Braidwood, Bradley, Mantino. Anyway, we, we went to form a cooperative, a new cooperative that Piatone was a founding member of. So in December of 2013, we created the Illinois Municipal Insurance Cooperative, which is a property liability program. Um, Piatone is one of our board members, so tonight I'm going to be asking you to select two people. Um, to come to our meetings. We have quarterly meetings. Um, they've been at Piatone before, so uh, we kind of just transfer where we're going. Uh, the next meeting, which I included on the next page, um, is July 28th uh, in Cole City. Uh, Cole City is the chairman of um, the EMIC program. Uh, we usually send one primary, one alternate, depending on who you would like to attend the meetings, but we have everyone in between. We have mayors, we have clerks, we have other board members. There's a wide variety of, of board members on our board. Um, so whoever you think would fit best. Uh, what we discuss is the, the insurance cooperative, instead of paying an insurance company all your money, we're actually retaining a lot of, the, about 47% of the premiums in-house. So we have an investment firm that invests that money in all liquidable assets. So that if you have a very good loss year, you actually get your premiums back instead of just paying an insurance company every year and throwing out that money. So you'll be able to kind of start your own insurance company and retain the underwriting profits that most insurance companies would charge you back. Um, but you'll get to know a lot about insurance and risk management. Um, you do have a voice on the board, so it's very important to select somebody. And other than that, in your packet, I just included other services. Um, you talked about body cameras and tasers. If you ever wanted to know, you know, what our other communities do, we'd be happy to share that information with you. We'd also uh, be happy to share trainings. Um, we can come out and train your employees. That's all inclusive of being a Gallagher client. Um, on page six are all of our loss control programs. Um, and page seven, all of our claim services programs. So there's really nothing that our, or our organization can't do for you when it comes to risk management and insurance. Um, so please, I, I will, I'll say talk after the meeting, I'll hand out my cards. If you ever have a question or need advice about any type of project, um, even if it's a grant, um, please feel free to reach out to us. Uh, we do have a lobbyist at Gallagher. I am very aware of what's going on in the state of Illinois. Um, I'd be happy to share that information with you. Any board members have any questions? Hope you're happy with your insurance program. <laughs> but I, I will need two members. Okay. So think about it, let us know. Well, we can have that discussion, you know, as a board here and now. Um, who, who was previously the representative? George was our primary and Donna is our secondary. But it, it might be better to send someone, uh, I mean, we have one, um, Cole City sends somebody from every, I mean, every board member actually ends up going to a meeting just so you kind of can figure out what's going on with the insurance and kind of network a little bit um, with the other communities. I think it, for the time being, um, if it would be okay with the board, I would name Donna the primary, uh, because that she deals with the insurance on a fairly regular basis. Is that not true, Donna? And then at the point in time when we do get our administrator position filled, you know, we can revisit that um, if necessary. What time is the meeting? 
we do it at 10 o'clock. Oh, it's what it gets during the day. Um, we do send out reports, so you'll get updated on what happens to that meeting. We send out minutes, and um, all the information that's presented, you'll get a copy of as well. And then for the time being, I, I can do the secondary. That's okay with the board. And I would definitely try to attend the, it's okay if both of us attend the meeting. Oh, yes, definitely. Uh, try to attend that meeting also, just so get a grasp of like, so once we get the administrator position filled again, you know, we'll, we'll revisit that. Well, I'm very excited. I, I really love Pietro, and if there's anything I can do, please, please let me know. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you coming Thank out. You. No problem. Okay, item C, approval of the code enforcement officer job description. Uh, in your packets, you have the typed copy of that. Is there any discussion? Make a motion we accept the job description for code enforcement officer as written. Second. Second. Motion by Trustee Hunky, seconded by Trustee Hack. Mr. Hunky. Yes. Mr. Hack. Yes. Mr. Forsyth. Yes. Mr. Mark. Yes. Mr. Jones. Yes. Just to make that clear for everybody, you know, we did have a previous somewhat of a code enforcement job description. It was kind of vague, so we wanted to try to strengthen that a little bit, which uh, which has been done by adopting that. Uh, next agenda item is approval of the village administrator job description. We previously uh, we've had one administrator in the history of the village, and we really previously never had a job description on the books, so. As we go through this process of filling that position, we wanted to make sure that we had a, a, a pretty clear, accurate job description. And uh, I know that uh, Dr. March and, and Trustee Hupke too, they put a lot of time uh, into this project and I appreciate that very much and the work of the Administrative Oversight Committee, but especially Trustee Hupke for doing a lot of leg work and typing on that too. And uh, then having it put into the uh, form of all of our other job descriptions, so you should all have a copy of that. Is there any discussion or questions on that? If not, a motion to accept the job description for the village administrator. Motion. Second. Motion by, and this is the motion, Trustee Hack, seconded by Trustee Jones. Mr. Hack. Yes. Mr. Jones. Yes. Mr. Mark. Yes. Mr. Hupke. Yes. Mr. Forsen. Yes. <coughs> move down to item G, a resolution, a resolution for construction on State Highway IDOT. Uh, this is a resolution that came to us from IDOT. Um, Attorney Bartley had reviewed it. This is IDOT's resolution, and he said to go ahead and adopt this resolution as written, that uh, it was something that we needed to have on our books. So this would be resolution number 15-R06. Motion. Second. Motion by Trustee Forsyth, second by Trustee Hupke to adopt resolution number 15-R06, a resolution for construction on state highways. Yes. Mr. Huffy? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. March? Yes. Mr. Hank? Yes. All right. Uh, the next resolution is a resolution to oppose the construction of the Illinois Highway. We've had several discussions over the last month in regards to the Illinois. Uh, the village had previously taken a a pro stance with the understanding there would be a interchange at row 50 and the Oleana uh, after several discussions and presentations by uh, Virginia Hammond, uh, the board has directed that a resolution to oppose the Oleana be written and we have that in front of you. Is there any discussion or questions on that? 
If not, a motion to adopt resolution number 15R, 15-R07, a resolution of the village of Pietro in Will County, Illinois, opposing the construction of the Ileana Expressway. Motion. Second. Motion by Trustee Jones, seconded by Trustee March. Mr. Jones. Yes. Mr. Mark. Yes. Mr. Hack. Yes. Mr. Corson. Yeah. Yes. Mr. Hack. Mr. Hack. Yes. Along in that same discussion, we talked about um, the record of decision, uh, which again was addressed a little bit tonight. Uh, the board instructed a resolution be written to ask the Federal Highway Administration to vacate or rescind uh, that tier two record of decision and before you have resolution number or would be 15-R08, a resolution of the Village of Piatone, Will County, Illinois, requesting that the Federal Highway Administration vacate and or rescind its Illiana corridor tier two record of decision. Motion. Second. Motion by Trustee Forsyth, seconded by Trustee Hack. Mr. Forsyth? Yes. Mr. Hack? Yes. Mr. March? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. Yes. Item J, an ordinance amending Title IX, Chapter 98, Section 9842 of the Code of Piatone, trimming trees seven foot above the sidewalk. Uh, this was a discussion that the board has held uh, regarding tree trimming. Uh, at the last meeting, the board decided that we were looking to enforce a set height limit over the sidewalks, not necessarily over the street. We would not expect the residents necessarily to be out trimming trees over the street, but if residents are willing to do so, you know, we, would, we would request them to be 13 feet on the street but by ordinance, by adding to the ordinance, uh, making it mandatory for them to be tree trimmed seven feet over the sidewalk. Uh, any questions or discussion on the ordinance amendment? The language added was any tree or shrub which overhangs any part of a sidewalk with seven feet or less distance from the tree or shrub to the sidewalk is deemed to interfere with and impede pedestrian traffic. Second. This would be ordinance number 15-08, an ordinance amending Title IX, Chapter 98, Section 98.02 of the Code of Piatone Trimming Trees. The motion was Trustee March, seconded by Trustee Jones. Mark, Mr. March? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. Huffington? Yes. Mr. Forsyth? Yes. Mr. Hank? Yes. Item K, ordinance, an ordinance ascertaining the prevailing wage, prevailing rate of wages for the village of Piatone for those employed in performing construction of public works projects. Uh, this is a, an ordinance that has to be adopted every year by every municipality or taxing body. Uh, this would be ordinance number 15-09, prevailing wage rate ordinance. Motion. Second? Second. Motion by Trustee Hack, seconded by Trustee Hupke. Mr. Hack? Yes. Mr. Hupke? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. March? Yes. Mr. Forsyth? Yes. Item L, 2015 Sidewalk Program. We have with us Mr. Hickey from Public Works. Uh, we've talked about this uh, at our last meeting. Uh, this is the annual sidewalk replacement program, which did not get done last year. That is correct. Uh, what we're looking at is uh, using $50,000 to do some sidewalks you have in your packet, the, the sidewalk replacement address map. Uh, Troy, did you have anything you wanted to add? Um, we should be able to get this big uh, book put together in the next couple weeks probably get it advertised by next week. Um, probably be taking bids by the middle of July, or reading bids, I should say. 
Um, we, did, we did talk with the treasurer once again, and this $50,000 is available uh, for this program with the understanding that we're probably not going to be spending that $50,000 on the Wilmington Road sidewalk this year, even as that progresses forward this year. So a motion to approve the $50,000 for the 2015 sidewalk program. Unless, Mr. Hankey, did you have anything to add to that? No. Well, I'd, I'd like to add something real quick. Go ahead. Come up. Could you go up to the right? Like? Yeah, please. Normally what we do in the past is, even Tom did it, was we can't stick to just one area because it's not fair to the other residents. So what we try to do is move around because it shows the residents in different areas that we do care. I'd love to stick in one area. Obviously, I can't. Um, so that's the reason why the map is the way it is. I try to jump around a little bit, but. Uh, we'll let the residents know what areas we're uh, going to be in. So get a, a letter prior to the project. Yes. Is the scope of this project $50,000? I believe it was, according, I think I talked to Troy about it. Yeah, that's what we're shooting for. <coughs> so no, the motion would also need to include um, authorizing Robinson Engineering to put together the bid packet, the book, and proceed with advertising. advertising the yes. Motion. Second. Motion by Trustee Forsyth, seconded by Trustee Hack. Yes. Mr. Hack. Yes. Mr. March. Yes. Mr. Jones. Yes. Mr. Hack. Yes. Item M. Award the 2015 tree service contract. Uh, we had a bid opening uh, last week, June 18th at 10 a.m. There were four bid packets picked up and two returned. Uh, the two bids. These are weighted bids, um, AAA Tree Service, Hancock, 326.55, Four Seasons Tree Care, Bartolotti, 373.10. A motion for AAA. Second. A motion by Trustee Forsyth, seconded by Trustee Hupke, to accept the bid from Triple A Tree Service, the low bid, for 326.55. Have a quick question. Yes, sir. What Triple A bid on this bid was it exactly the same as no, the first time? No, a little bit higher. <laughs> this was higher. Yes. The second, the second was Trustee Forsyth, Trustee Hupke. Trustee Forsyth. Yes. Mr. Hupke. Yes. Mr. March. Yes. Mr. Jones. Yes. And Mr. Hank. Yes. Moving back up to item E, appoint trustee to fill a vacancy. Uh, we had four people who gave letters of interest or intent uh, to fill the trustee spot. Um, as per my conversation with the trustees, I interviewed all four of the candidates and my decision would be to appoint uh, Patrick Bowden to the uh, term which would expire or which would go to 2017 the general of the consolidated election in 2017 it would be to fill uh, that term until the next consolidated election um, you know I made my decision based on my conversations with all four candidates. I spoke to um, all four candidates for you know close to an hour at least. Um, one candidate considerably longer. Um, my decision uh, to appoint Mr. Bowling is based on his uh, business experience. He's uh, has a 30-year business career as a manager for a 
a major 20, almost 25 years, I believe, or at least 20 years as a manager for a major corporation. Um, he's still in business management. Uh, now he's a longtime resident of the village, and I feel his business sense and his common sense approach uh, to business would make him the best candidate to fill the seat. So therefore, it would be my appointment of uh, Patrick Bowden to fill the trustee, the vacant trustee term until the next consolidated election. So this would take a ratification by the board. So I would ask for a motion to ratify that appointment. Is that correct, Mr. Mars? To a motion to approve the, the proposed appointment. OK. Motion. Second. Second. Motion by Trustee Jones, seconded by Trustee March. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. March? Yes. Mr. Hack? I'd just like to say, although this was not my first choice, um, I have to respect the decision that the mayor has made. He's the one that did the interviews, um, so my vote's going to be yes. Mr. Forsyth? No. Mr. Hudson? No. And uh, this uh, particular statute provides that uh, it's a vote of the corporate authorities, which includes the mayor in this case, and the mayor does get to vote when there's three votes in favor. Yes. So Mr. Bowden will be uh, sworn in at the next meeting. Go to item F, reappoint committees. Uh, now that the trustee seat has been filled, uh, we will restructure the sitting committees. Uh, there are five sitting committees. I have a question for the attorney as a as the village president am i allowed to sit on the committee yes okay. then uh, we will go the administrative oversight committee which is ordinance finance personnel roy hupke will be chairperson uh, peter march and patrick bowden will sit i'll give you a copy thank of that. you yes <laughs> uh, we'll sit on that committee public works committee water and sewer streets and alleys trees and lighting Kevin Hack will be chairperson, Chris Forsyth and Michael Jones, Police and Public Safety Committee, Police and Public Safety Communications, WPAL Cable TV, Peter March will be chairperson, Kevin Hack and Roy Hupke, Building Committee, which reviews changes to building codes, Michael Jones, chairperson, Chris Forsyth and Patrick Bowden, and the Community Development Committee, which is the new standing committee, will be myself as chairman, Michael Jones and Peter March. The pro tems that have previously been appointed will stand. Uh, there will be Peter March as president pro tem, Trustee Hupke as treasurer pro tem, and Trustee Hack as secretary pro tem. So a motion to accept the restructure of the committee appointments and pro tems. Motion. Second. Second. Motion by Trustee Jones, seconded by Trustee Hupke. Mr. Jones. Yes. Mr. Hupke. Yes. Mr. Forsyth. No. Mr. Heck. Yes. And Mr. March. Yes. Questions of the press? Any correspondence, communications, and petitions? Water bills will be mailed at the end of this month. Water bills will be mailed at the end of this month. We will be having a special village board meeting next Tuesday, which is, I've lost the date, June the 30th at 6.30 p.m. There will be an agenda posted for that meeting. Anything else from any of the trustees? Before we adjourn it, <clears throat> is it um, proper 
to have a trustee explain his reasoning for voting no. There's, uh, that's something any trustee is entitled to. Yeah. Thank you. My, my choice, um, I thought would have brought a different perspective to this board. My choice, I felt, would have made this board a non-biased board. Um, without saying who my choice is. Um, that's my reasoning for voting no. And I will say in response to that, that by making that comment, you are saying that the appointment of the person to the board somehow makes it a biased board, which I don't believe it does. I, this was my responsibility, which we've talked about at other times as an entire board. It is my responsibility to make an appointment to the board of the best possible person I feel that could take that seat. And that's exactly what I did. Um, I don't feel that appointment makes this board biased in any way. I feel it makes this board a stronger board moving forward. Because that's what we need to do from this minute on is move forward as a board. We're elected, we're here to do one job and one job only. We're here to represent the people of this village to the best of our ability. We're here to make Piatone a better place for everybody. And that is my intention, and I will do everything in my power to make that happen. And that I was, certainly hope that every trustee sitting here has the same feeling. That was I, my intention also, and I'm not here to grandstand. I made I'm my not comment, grandstanding. And that's I'm not all grandstanding. I want to I'm, say. Explaining, I'm explaining my state. Thank you. Anything else? A motion to adjourn. Motion. Second. Second. Motion by Trustee Forsyth, second by Trustee Hand.